Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And I've got a bunch of emails on having problems with your drivetrain. Something's not working. You want to know how to check it. <clears throat> well, we're going to show you how the drivetrain works and some things to look for to troubleshoot the problem that you have using this model. <clears throat> I'm getting a cold, so sorry. <clears throat> the model I built, this is my old 28-inch machine I've had for over 30 years and uh, served me well. And now, seeing I have a bigger one, it's still serving me well. We're going to use this to help people find out what's wrong with their machine. Now, if you haven't seen this before, this is all cut away. The fender's been cut back. The uh, differential case has been cut away. The chain case has been cut away. This fender on this side has been cut away so you can see back in between the drive disc and the clutch disc. And it, yes, it runs. And you can see how the whole thing works. Now to check your machine, if something's not working right, <clears throat> first thing you want to do is turn the clutch disc. Put it in neutral or roll, whatever your machine has. I use, I call it my little piece pipe. It's just a little block of wood with a handle on it so I can get it back in there underneath the yoke. And that holds the clutch open. I don't have to mess with the pedal. You want to turn your clutch disc. And in doing that, your tires, well, if I had tires on here, your tires will turn. You can see the wheel flange is turning right here. If it's not turning, the first thing you want to do is disconnect one of your boots. Slide it back so you can see your hex shaft. Turn your clutch again. If your shaft is turning, then your chain case is okay. There's nothing in here but two sprockets and a chain. So now that means we got to go down here somewhere. <clears throat> There's a chain inside of here, a sprocket, a, a gear reduction gear that meshes into this big gear. And then you have your cluster gears in here for your differential. Okay, I want to get these names right now, or somebody's going to correct me. These are your pinion gears inside here. There's four of them. This large gear, it's just called a four hole 63 tooth gear. That's what the description calls it. Now, a lot of these machines, I have seen this gear right here that meshes into this big one will be stripped right off. There's nothing left to it. Or, when I bought my 33-inch machine, it was not running. This short axle, and I don't know if you can even see up in there. Let me grab you a flashlight. Yeah, you just, you can't see up in here. But here's another differential. The two axles in the large gear. The pinion gears are gone because I used them in my 33-inch. I have eight gears in there instead of four. But you can see up in here, if I can hold this, there's a set of gears right here, and there's a gear right here. This gear is hooked to this axle. This gear over here is hooked to this axle. 
the pinion gears hook the two together. That's how the differential works. <clears throat> so, if you turn your clutch disc and your hex shaft is turning, then your problem is inside of here. Now, I had a viewer call me or email me and say, okay, when I turn my tires, and if you turn, I'm going to turn this one. I don't know if you can see them both. But this one turns the opposite direction. That's normal. That's okay. Now, if you turn them both in the same direction, it'll lock up these pinion gears, and it'll turn everything. Just as if the clutch disc was turning it. Works the same way, forward or backwards. Now he called me and said, when I push my machine, it rolls good for one revolution, and then it stops. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but every one of these is what a lot of people refer to as a jack shaft. Every one of these steps are reducing your 3,000 RPMs on your engine down to what's a snapper got? Probably seven miles an hour ground speed. You need all these steps to slow down your RPMs. <clears throat> now, if you turn this, you're going to notice the only thing in this whole drivetrain that's turning the same as the tires is this big gear. That's the last step before it hits the tires. So when your tires make one revolution, so does this gear. So if you're pushing your machine and your tires go around once and then stop, you got a problem with this gear. Now maybe if it's not too gummed up inside, let me get a cover because this one's been cut away. <clears throat> this cover sits up in here like this. Your top plug is real close to the outer diameter of this gear. Pull that plug out. Get yourself a flashlight. You can look in the hole and turn your tires so this gear goes around. You might be able to see the problem. <clears throat> I'd have to say that this is your problem with your one revolution. The gear down here that meshes into this, I'd have to guess and say it's probably turning 30 times compared to this. So I would say it's not this gear. It's got to be this one. <clears throat> of course, that's the most expensive one in there. So if you got any questions, um, <clears throat> like I said, go through these steps and check out how your drivetrain is working. Uh, if you can't figure it out, I, I guess the best thing is you're just going to have to start taking this stuff apart. Uh, and if... If I had your machine in front of me so I could do some looking myself, I could probably pinpoint it a little better than just trying to go through emails. It's really hard. But if you have any other questions or problems, put it in the description box below and I will answer you. Uh, so I guess until next time, work safe, have fun, and... Let's try to figure out your problems. Talk to you soon.